and um, this is my honest review of Hospital Angeles in Tijuana of the Regenerative, Regenerative Medicine Institute. And if anybody wants um, to contact me, my email is shamrahall at hotmail.com. And um, um, I guess that's it. And my my mother's going to save. Hi, yes, my name is Susan, and uh, I've taken a few notes. I won't <laughs> do as well as my daughter did, but I'll try my best. Um, yes, this is an, an accurate account that she has given, very, very accurate, and I back it up 100%. Um, she was given the promise and totally convinced, 100% convinced that she would only need one treatment, her river, liver be rejuvenated, or why would she spend $25,000? She doesn't have that kind of money. She had to borrow the money, in fact. She has no car, no home. She lives with us in a little tiny bedroom. Uh, she doesn't have that kind of money, but they sometimes over in Tijuana, they, they seem to think that all Americans are very rich and they can just dish it out. And no, that's not the case here. That's not the case at all. She'll probably spend uh, paying back this loan probably for many many years to come maybe 10 or 15 years that's not right and I 100% I agree with everything that she's had to say and I've, I've seen the grief she's gone through it's been a lot Good of depression night. a lot of sleepless nights a lot of counseling um, this is crushing her to bits it's crushing her this is totally totally unexcusable unethical and um, Unacceptable. Una unacceptable, yeah, good word, unacceptable. So please, please take this to heart and, and warn you, you know, don't don't get hooked and don't get uh, deceived like we did. She's not, she's not doing that well at all. And um, it, she's trying to, trying to either get them to give her her money back or do the procedure over again with maybe it, with more stem cells and all that to her liver. They won't admit they made a mistake. Um, they says, oh, maybe in six months from now, we'll, we'll do a review. They're not giving her any uh, concrete answers. Uh, they, won't, they won't answer her. They won't uh, come up with it. It's just if, when, or, or, or about, or we'll see, um, that kind of political talk. <laughs> the runaround. Um, yeah, the, the complete runaround, as you can understand. So... You know, we're hoping that we get our money back, and um, if if we do, we'll take this we'll take this off of of YouTube. That's all there is to it. We don't want to be unethical either. We don't want us to uh, to that depth. So we we just want uh, what's right. What's right for her. What's right for their patients. You know, that's that's all there is. To, and she was one of the first liver patients, but that isn't you know that isn't. Um, call for any, any excuses and this hospital has many they have lots of grants they have uh, they're loaded with many below the, di the difference between the regenerative medicine Institute and other stem cell therapy providers lies not only in the efficiency of our treatments but also the setting in which they're delivered as opposed to other groups which don't have access to emergency medical services an operating theater an ICU or a large medical staff all of our treatments are provided in one of the largest private hospitals in Mexico. We have 12 operating theaters, a staff of 150 doctors, as well as a 24-7 ICU and ER. That's a, that's a drop in a bucket. You know, they, they need to realize that once in a while, they, um, something like this is going to happen, and um, it's just, it's just comes, with, it comes with the flow. It happens to, to everybody. And um, that's about well, that's there, about it. Um, did you have mistake, anything to add? Their mistake about how they put seventy percent into my liver and thirty percent into my arm. They should have put all of it into my liver. And that's something that they learned that maybe next time they should do. So they thought that I can be cured through my auto. 
that my autoimmune disease would be cured at the same time if they put 30% of the stem cells in my arm. So that was their mistake. Um, well, never, nevertheless, they need to make it right. You can't just keep taking money from people and um, say, we're going to do the procedure over again and take another $25,000. No. You can go to other countries and have a lot better than this, believe me. Um, so we, you know, we did learn a lesson, but, but still, um, what would you want to go? Would you want them to promise you this and then end up uh, not getting the results and not getting a refund or paying, all, paying that kind of money? Uh, I don't think anybody in their right mind would want to do this, but um, they, they, they need to make it right and they're not making contact and that's the biggest frustration. We've, uh, we've talked to, uh, actually have talked to some people and called other clinics and they were willing, stem cell clinics, they actually redid their patients, the ones that didn't help, uh, that they didn't get the results. They went ahead and they redid the stem cell treatment. So as far as we're concerned, this is the only place that, that is not, not doing that. So you know, just a big warning here, big, big red flag. Yeah, beware, 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 buyer beware. <laughs> <laughs> um, just one more thing that I wanted to say is that on a lot of their YouTube videos and on the internet, they will brag about how state of the art they are and they're the best and all that, but when it comes down to it, um, they didn't deliver. So that's my honest review and just please, please be aware of Hospital Angeles in Tijuana. If you talk to Dr. Perez, he knows me personally. <laughs> um, just ask him. So ask him why you're not refunding her her money or um, making any arrangements to, to make the situation Correct, correct the situation and to make it right. Well, that's it. Signing off. They have to care for your for your patients. Your patients come first.